Cloud Haiku 4.5 has just been released and uh, this is a new model from Anthropic and uh, it is better than uh, Sonnet 4 so it is between the Sonnet 4.5 and the old Sonnet 4 and the good thing about this, this is three times cheaper than uh, Sonnet 4.5 and supposed to have a better performance than the previous model Sonnet 4 which was pretty good and in here you can see their benchmarks and in here you see that it has an uh, an slider edge in software engineering if you compare it with Sonnet 4 if you compare it with Codex it's about the same and the other things in here you can see that the other benchmark will show you for instance you see that uh, you have the agenting terminal coding which is better than Cloud Sonnet 4 and adjusting tool use again it's better than uh, Sonnet 4 computer use and uh, yeah basically it does uh, a better job than Sonnet 4 and in this video we are going to test it and create our uh, demonstration because I want to see how it's doing in tool use and how it's working this model it's uh, already available in open router and uh, the plan is to use it in here and in here you see that you have a context of 2000k with an output of 64k and the input price is one dollar and the output it's five dollars and this is uh, has the double the speed of sonnet 4.5 which is pretty good and in here this is what sonnet 4 was able to do for us with only one uh, prompt with z and Today we are going to test the same thing because I'm interested to see how it's working with Astro and how it's able to do in uh, this uh, uh, this UI things. So you see that this is a pretty good website and it's looking pretty nice. And yeah, this is what Sonnet 4 managed to do. And in here I have Z. I have uh, installed the uh, installed and the uh, Astro and in here I will just un add Tailwind CSS4 in layouts to have everything set up and then we're going to start with my test okay let me put the import okay I'm just very curious and excited to see how this will work so I will fetch the previous prompt. This one is the previous prompt. We are going to discuss it. I will gonna draw a new thread, and in here I have Cloud Haiku 4.5. And in here I will shoot the prompt. And basically, this prompt it will tell you to create a basic uh, website. In here I told you that I already have Astro with Alien 4. I am interested to see how it's doing. I want him to create a solar panel website with SVGs and everything because I am wanted to see how it's able to do when SVGs are created and in here you have the menu footer, pages, is call to action, logo, everything. So let's hit this and see how it's working. Okay, so okay right now it is just uh, trying to list folders and files. Okay, it's creating directory. I see it's running this pretty, pretty fast. It started already creating the logo. I'm just curious to see if it will manage to complete this project without any errors, first of all, and how good it will look. And I have high hopes for this especially that the price is cheaper than the Sonnet 4.5, three times cheaper and you see that it's pretty fast and yeah I mean if this is good you can uh, code with uh, LLNs pretty cheap right now with this Haiku model but let's, let's wait and see how it does with creating these SVGs and everything for us one thing I didn't ask him. Let's go in here and do chat. I'm just curious to see what, till which date you are trained on. Date you are trained on. I'm curious to see 
the cutoff date. Okay, it's April 2024, so it's more than one year. I hoped to be to be sooner, but yeah, that's that's it. You have some options if you want to work with LLM. So in here we see that we have some files created and yeah, created six files for us, seven. And you see that it's going fast. Let's see if he is able to create everything for us. So create the main layout. Okay, didn't import it the Tailwind CSS thing because I think it doesn't know about Tailwind CSS 4 because it is older than Sonnet 4.5. So that's the problem with this um, LLMs and the training uh, date. You need to tell it to use the specific things. Maybe you need to have an agent.md in case they are older just to tell it what to do. But yeah, we are going to fix this by adding the import ourselves at the end when this will finish. So right now you see that you have the components in here, assets are created, icons, logo. And right now it just goes and creates everything and I think it managed to create a few things. So it's pretty fast. Okay, a lot of code. So you see here the context. Let's see how much also it's costing. And this. Okay, keys, credits. So I have $10. Right now in here. So you see that it's pretty cheap and you see the speed in here you have like 200, 100 TPS per second which is pretty fast so yeah. So today request tokens past month okay. Okay, it's moving to creating the sections for us. Footer, navigation, header. It didn't create the header, I see. But maybe it will do that. I'm curious to see. Right now it does a good job in uh, calling tools. So, yeah. He didn't have any hiccup. Okay, it looks like it's getting to the end. There are two issues in here. One, it's the fact that it didn't create the header, we'll tell it to create the header. And the other, it's that it didn't listen that I'm using already Tailwind CSS and he just uh, written the CSS from scratch. And, but yeah, we're going to see how this will do. I will just go and tell it to create this file. And then we're gonna see what he manage to, to do because the rest, it looks like it created, created the pages for us. It created the components, logos, and uh, yeah, let's see pages in here. You have the about contact services, so should be okay. Okay, so tool not found. Okay, preferably me. Check if there is any diagnostic issue. Okay. It looks like it had a fail. I'll tell it, please create. Also, is not created. Okay, so it looks like the 
API as an issue new thread. Let's see if in here we have more luck. Yeah, so it uh, looks like it reached the end, I guess, of his uh, uh, context. Okay, this is the navigation. So we should have everything created right now. Let's see the cost for this. Okay, keys, credits. So still 10 in here. If we're gonna check the credit, it's 8 right now. So ah, about $2, $2 for this website. It's not uh, cheap. Uh, but uh, it's cheaper than Sonnet 4.5. Right now, let's see. I'm curious to see if this thing will gonna work or not. Let's see. Let me make this thing like this. NPM run there. And let's see if it's starting or not. So it started pretty good. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so the design looks pretty nice. So yeah, you have a nice logo, you have a nice header with animation in here, and call to action. So it's consistent with what Sonnet 4 managed to do. So you see in here you have some pretty nice animation. Okay, service is pretty good. So yeah, in here you have the logos, testimonials. Yeah, footer is very nice. So it does a pretty clean UI. These are the services. So yeah, I mean, it's uh, in par with what, what we are seeing in Cloud Sonnet 4 about again, and you have nice animation. And I think this design is more cleaner than the one that Sonnet 4 did. And yeah, it looks very nice. The problems in there is that it didn't use Tailwind CSS 4. It has some issues with the tool calls at the end i've seen it forget to create the header but yeah i mean this is three times cheaper and it does a pretty good job from my point of view so yeah this is the haiku and you can start using it right now and uh, see how it's doing please uh, let a comment into the video description in case you want to add something or you have an opinion thanks for watching